your life as it has been is over. Ironically, when you're first uh, looking at should you do a bankruptcy and you're thinking about the means test and do I qualify, usually the first thing on your mind is, can I afford to pay for this bankruptcy? And just a couple of things that come to mind are that very often it's true you do get what you pay for. If you are paying a pittance for your bankruptcy, you're going to get a pittance worth of bankruptcy. That's almost always the case. On the other hand, if your attorney drives a brand new S-Class Mercedes, it doesn't mean that you're getting the best of attorneys. You maybe you maybe you are, but very often what you're getting is an arrogant guy who doesn't have a whole lot of time on his hands because he's got to get through you to the next client because he's got to make the payment on that S-Class Mercedes. And I'll tell you what, I mean, who's paying for that? Not me. It's the old, you know, breakup adage, it's not me, it's you. I mean, it's not you. It's me. No, in this case, it's not me, it's you. Sorry. If your bankruptcy attorney has, you know, six bedrooms overlooking the ocean, somebody's got to pay for that. It's not me, it's you. Today, we're going to do a video comparison. We're going to start with the first uh, item on the means test, groceries. Live long and prosper. I can't believe it. KFC has a payphone. I wonder if it actually works. It says public phone. Well, there's no dial tone. It's just weird. Okay. Living within your means test. Comparison number one, chicken. So, I think this is a great place to come to just look at just a fast food, quick version, two-piece meal. You get a roll, two pieces of chicken for $2.99. By the way, they don't open till 10, so hopefully I'm okay to shooting a video out here. They'll let you finance it at 20%, and they are number one rated for chicken. I do love the turnovers, though. Okay, so here's the overall menu, and uh, drive forward to the left, you can see that it tastes so good, it's those 11 herbs and spices. Anyway, Kentucky Grilled, Classic Meals, 10 pieces for $22, 8 pieces for $21, 12 for $27, you can get a 1 piece meal for $7, it's a Nice breast for seven bucks. Comes with two sides and a biscuit and a cup of phosphates to burn away your bones and give you osteoporosis. But tastes so good. There's your drinks. No longer come in small. You can get medium, large, or bucket. A bucket of soda? Who needs that much? It's amazing. So now we'll go look at the, how much chicken costs you at the Albertsons, how much rolls cost you at the Albertsons, how much mashed potatoes and coleslaw cost you at the Albertsons, and how much a bucket of soda will cost you at the Albertsons. I can tell you that right now, it's a dollar. So now we're in the Albertsons and I'm looking at um, Sir Fresh Daily. Here's eight pieces for five bucks. It's not 20 or not 21. It's not as pretty as the other uh, menu, but I'll tell you, this tastes just as good. I like chicken here at the Albertsons. Here's Albertsons pre made mashed potatoes. Uh, so it's creamy. They're really good. You can, but you know, it's 24 ounces, so 24 ounces for six bucks. Uh, let's see. And here's a coleslaw, $2.99 a pound. Ew. 
I've seen a few people with a pound of coleslaw. Okay, here we've got three kinds of biscuits, eight packs, uh, two for five bucks. So that's a dollar and a, that's two dollars and fifty cents for eight. Uh, you spend five bucks, you get sixteen. So our family of eight is now at, uh, let's see, we're at eleven plus three is fourteen. Uh, plus five is 19 and that's only if you get two. Um, so you could bop a 250 off of there, that'd take you back to uh, 1650, I think. I wanted to get a shot of this because this is basically the stuff that KFC uses to make their mashed potatoes. Actually, Hungry Jack is probably a better brand. On sale now, for where'd it go? Three ninety nine. Come on, focus. Three ninety nine for the big box. Two fifty nine for the somewhat smaller box. And I'll tell you, if you if you made half the box, eight people would be happy. So if you take the other mashed potatoes off, that was six dollars at sixteen fifty. Minus six is ten fifty. Ten fifty. Uh, then you add this mashed potatoes at two fifty is uh, thirteen bucks. Add uh, one dollar soda, and you got fourteen bucks. You're way ahead. Like eight, save eight bucks. And that's if you bought the chicken pre-cooked. So we'll go check, uh, take a look at the chicken uncooked. Okay, so I'm in the chicken aisle. I'm looking at, uh, uh, here's a package of thighs. There are actually nine in there. And it's 586. Here's another one. This is all legs, 533. And you got, uh, I counted them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 and 9 is 22. You get 22 pieces of legs and thighs for not, yeah, 11 bucks. Okay, so we're looking at um, some name brand sodas. And the price is 89 cents. For Coke, two liters. Not a bucket of suds for three dollars. Now, as long as I'm here, I thought I'd look at books real quick because if you like to read like I do, then um, this this might be interesting to you if you don't know it yet. Uh, let's see. Girl who kicked the hornet's nest, and it's selling for. Ten dollars. Stieg Larsson, uh, great writer. Too bad he left the world so soon. I would love to see what the other seven of the books would have been. Um, here's a neat one: Tom Clancy's End War, which of course he's pounded that out just in time for it to be out here on the shelf before Ender's Game comes out in the movie theater. 10 bucks. Do you know what these things cost if you get them as Kindle ebooks? Half as much. Did you know you could put a Kindle application on your phone for free? When you want to do a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, you must qualify for the Chapter 7. The qualification test is called the means test. The means test is this complicated set of rules that the federal government came up with a little while ago to determine if you either make too much money to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy or if they'll allow it. And they rely heavily on the IRS standards for what your income and expenses ought to be, or what the IRS thinks they ought to be. And that depends on your state and county, the size of your family, um, among other things. And they take those uh, different factors and they determine that 
okay, in this state, this is your uh, median gross income for a family of your size. Or in this other state, the medium gross in, median gross income may be quite different. So in California, if the median income for a single individual is about $48,500, in Alabama or Arkansas or something like that, it might be closer to thirty-five. dollars So there can be huge differences from one state to another, but then they try to account for the expenses as well. So in California, uh, you have much higher expenses for housing, groceries and things like that. On the qualification test and the means test, there are many different categories of all these different expenses and the IRS has determined that for groceries it should be this much for a family of this size, for uh, smaller families it goes down, and you pretty much get whatever number they picked. So if for a family of six, groceries and, and whatnot, similar expenses, uh, if they run about 2200 bucks, it's 2200 bucks. You can get a 5% bump if you can prove a bunch of receipts. It's usually not worth it to try. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's not much of an issue to worry about. Because who keeps all those receipts? Disclaimer. The disclaimer is this. You are not my client simply because you're watching the video. This is an educational and informational video. It is not legal advice. You could also use it for medical purposes. And if you're lucky, it might improve your golf swing.